what's going on UPSL fans, uh, welcome to a new episode of This Week in the UPSL. Finals are just around the corner and we have all the action here in the show today. Interviews, highlights, inside the club and of course the best goals of the week. My name is Jesus Leandro Cast, and I invite you to stay tuned. So are you ready? Let's go! The first stop today is going to be the Midwest Conference. Minneapolis City against Iowa Raptors. Minneapolis wearing white and black shorts, attacking from left to right. The first chance is going to be for Iowa Raptors after the corner, and the goalkeeper decides to punch. A new one for Minneapolis on the left hand side, they cross and the ball goes over the crossbar. Another corner, nobody can deflect. The comedy and the goal for Iowa Raptors. Now it's Minneapolis on the right hand side, good pass. The cross. The player goes to the ground and the referee said no, no, no. There's a new chance for Iowa Raptors and this was a great save by the goalkeeper. Another long ball to the left hand side. The cross, the ball on the post and the goalkeeper keeps the ball. Now it's a new one for Minneapolis. The shoot and the goalie send it to corner. Now it's Minneapolis. Good play, hit the turf and this was penalty. Minneapolis for the tie and a goal, 1-1. One, one. Another one, this is for Iowa. The shoot and a beautiful goal. It's 2-1 for Iowa. Now it's for Minneapolis and the goal is 2-2. Now it's Iowa. They open the field. Here comes the cross. The rebound. And finally they deflect the ball. Corner, long ball, save it on the line, and, and the goalie finally keeps the ball. Oh, what a mistake! This is can be good for Iowa, and no, you can miss that, and we are in penalties. This is goal for Iowa, Minneapolis, and a goal to the right. Iowa in front of the ball and you miss this one for Minneapolis and goal and the goal is safe and uh, Minneapolis won on penalties New York Contour United against Mass United Rush New York wearing all white, Mass United, the blue kits. The first will be for New York, the shoot and the goalie save it. Now it's a free kick for Mass United and the goalie save and then it's the first goal for New York, Rances Reneo. Oh, what a mistake in the back for a new chance to New York on tour. And then it's Rances again. The second goal for Rances Reneu for New York Contour United. A new chance. Good save by the goalkeeper. New action. The shooting, it was really close. Now it's a long ball. 
They were asking for offside, it wasn't. New chance for the team in white. Good goal for New York. The right hand side, nice individual skill. The ball on the center, the shooting. What a golazo for New York Contour United. Now we are 4 0. They looking for the fifth and clank on the crossbar. There was a chance for Mass United, but the time it's over is 4 0 for New York Contour United. Minneapolis City will be facing New York Contour United for a place in the semi-finals. And Christian Turizo of New York Contour United talk with us after the game. Aprovechamos las dos oportunidades que tuvimos empezando el partido y eso nos ayudó mucho, ¿no? Pusimos a ese equipo bajo presión empezando, pero ya con un marcador de 2 a 0 en los primeros 15 minutos pienso que le da moral a cualquier equipo y, y bueno y le baja la moral al contrario la verdad que yo creo que ellos no se esperaban esos dos goles tempraneros Sure Sports FC against Olympiacos DC Olympiacos wearing a white shirt and a red shorts attacking from left to right Long ball in the box, the header and the first goal for Shore Sports, Wang Neil. Now is a ball on the left hand side for Olympiacos and it's 1-1. Cross ball. And they shoot, and finally they score 2 1. Now it's Olympiacos. Long cross, and the ball went into the net. It's 2 2. Now it's short sport. The ball with the head. The goalie can't take the ball, and it's the 3 2 for short sports, and the final score of this game. Do you want a tequila? Well, we're going to Mexico. Altiplano FC against Deportivo Camelia. In this great stadium is Deportivo Camelia with the ball, with the green shorts. The first goal after this good play on the right hand side, the cross and the shoot. One nil for Deportivo Camelia. Now it's a free kick for Altiplano. They play fast and 1 1. Really smart for Altiplano FC. Now it's a long ball in this counter attack for Deportivo Camelia and a great individual goal now it's Altiplano sang the long ball and what a goal for Altiplano FC now it's 2-2 another long pass for Deportivo Camelia the shoot inside the box and the 3-2 for Deportivo Camelia, the final score, 3-2. This week in Inside the Club, we went to Arizona to speak with Victor Gordian, coach of East Valley United. East Valley nació hace tres años con el equipo de UPSL. De hecho, yo soy el primer, primer año que me contrataron para ser coach de East Valley con un nuevo proceso y ahora sí que trayendo gente de, de, de confianza. 
el equipo está muy bien, muy bien confortado entre, entre jugadores jóvenes, jugadores de mucho, de mucha, ¿cómo se llama? Experiencia, ¿no? Contamos con, con Edgar Pacheco, que jugó en Atlas, en Tigres, en Juárez. Contamos con el hermano de Edgar Castillo, se llama Noel Castillo, también que jugó en México. Contamos con Omar Ledesma, también jugó en Chivas, Tepic, y mucha juventud, más que nada de eso, mucha juventud, chavos de aquí de, de Arizona, totalmente enfocados, creyendo que pues, se puede, ¿verdad? Porque también realmente nosotros de antemano sabemos que va a ser un partido muy, muy fuerte, algo que siento que va a ser muy buen, muy buen partido, porque conocemos a varios de esos jugadores de, de Cal FC que son muy buenos, ¿verdad? Tienen muy buena trayectoria, nos conocemos de tiempo y ahora sí que, que gane el mejor, pues no hay, no hay más mejor preparación que entrenar e ir con toda la actitud, pero tú sabes que el fútbol es fútbol, tenemos unos grandes rivales enfrente y pues ahora sí que gane el mejor. Metimos en la mente llegar a la nacional, cueste lo que cueste y pues ahora sí que ya también depende de muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Pero tras, primeramente Dios, ojalá y podamos lograr lo que nos cometimos. The action continue in the UPSL women. Let's take a look. Cooking led women against Alaska Thorns. Alaska moving the ball from right to left, wearing all red. And the first chance of this game is gonna be for Cooking led on the left hand side. Good control, the shoot and goal, one nil. They open the field on the left hand side, another cross and that ball went into the net. It's 2-0 for Cooking Lead. Now it's a free kick, long ball and good goal, 3-0. Now it's a penalty kick, the shoot and very well on the right top corner now is a chance for Alaska turn the shoot and what happened goalie for one now is cooking lead the shoot and and a new goal is not the day for this goalie and 5-2 was the final score And it's time to move to the Southeast Conference and see what's going on. Kalonji Pro Profile against Bowling Green FC. Beautiful stadium. Bowling Green wearing all white and Kalonji Pro Profile all red. Nice pass on the left hand side. Here comes the cross. Nice control and Momodou Jalou, the first goal of the game. Another cross, the rebound, the shoot with the left and Joseph Samuel, the second goal. Nice individual skill, the pass. And then is the third goal for Nicolas Amuaco. 3-0 for Kalonji Pro Profile. Good wall into the box. What a beautiful. And Don Ditson Vixamar. The 4-0. Kalonji Pro Profile with the ball. What a good pass for Kufi to Moasi. And it's the 5. What a good run, looking for the six, nice skill and that's it, six nil for Don Dixon Vixamar, what a good run, dribble and it's the seven nil for Kofi Tumasi, 
Seven Neil, Kalonji Pro Profile, what a team! And it's the 8 0 for Nicolas Amuaco. And that is the final score Kalonji Pro Profile 8, Bowling Green Neil. Miami Beach CF against Florida Tropics. Florida Tropics attacking from left to right, wearing all orange. The first for them, and the goalkeeper had to react. Now it's a counter attack for William A. Young. 3 2 1 goal. 1 nil for Florida Tropics. Now is Miami Beach. The shoot, and not enough to trouble. Another one, and the goalkeeper keeps the ball. This is a good chance. The ball on the post, and it goes out. He tried to chip, and no chance for that. The free kick, and the ball on the crossbar. New chance for Miami Beach. And this one, what about this? And the goalie, what a good reaction. Now is Florida Tropics. Good shoot. And the goalkeeper say no. New one for Miami Beach. In the top of the box. He prepares with the left. And uh, now there's justice. 1-1. One, one. There's a corner. For Florida Tropics, the header and the goal 2-1 after that corner. Now it's a free kick and what a golazo. Are you kidding me for Miami Beach? 2-2. Two -two. And not enough to trouble. It's 2-2 two -two this game. What a save by the goalie. And now we are on the penalties. Tropics. Almost the goalkeeper. What a good shot. Now it's Miami Beach. And for the win. And Florida Tropics. One on penalties. 4-3 after a very exciting game. Florida Tropics will be playing Kalonji Pro Profile for a place in the National Final Four. And we have the word of William Yang and JP Reyes of Florida Tropics. It was a great night. We fought hard. We played against a really good team. Um, thanks to them for giving us a good position. But thank God we finally managed to win the game and we're very happy about it. I'm really excited to win. We just won the, the conference. We're heading now to Augusta, Georgia to play. And our team had a great game. We had an excellent 18 players play amazing and just overall excited about it.
Top Goals of the Week is brought to you by SCORE. Number 5 This beautiful free kick by Miami Beach Sebastian Aldunati, what a goal with the left Nothing for the goalie to do is our number 5 In number 4 This one by Kalonji Pro Profile After a beautiful run A great dribbling skills and an amazing definition in the first post. Beautiful play by Kalonji, pro profile. And this is the podium, number three for New York Contour United. What a great move. The pass, the control, and the shoot. What a beautiful goal for New York Contour United. Our number three. Number two, it's for Kalonji Pro Profile and this amazing and terrific shoot by Joseph Samuel. What a great definition with the left, our number two. And it's time for number one this week, it's for Olympiacos DC. That beautiful cross or shoot? What a goal! from the sideline amazing amazing goal our number one a well deserved what a great goals we just saw top goals were presented by score and it's time to say goodbye but we'll be back next week with more action of the UPSL in our next episode we're going to have the name of the best four teams of the spring 21 season you can't miss it don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel we also invite you to follow us on our different social media my name is Jesus Leandro Cast, and I wish you an excellent rest of your week ciao